thing is coming to a boiling point as we converge all wars, not just the present, but the past as well. Because in the present, the war basically, Hugo faction and like everyone else, and like the demons are also coming to the elf village, right? Everything's being gathered there, and all the reincarnations there. And Okachan, even though she seems suspicious, I feel like we can trust her. And it's just because of her ties with Potimas that I think she's sus. I think at the end of the day, she has some good, you know, she means good for us, but I feel like because of her flashback, that was like prime death flag, so I could see Okachan saving herself. Sorry, saving uh, the rest of her class by sacrificing herself in this upcoming war arc. It's kind of crazy how she can kind of see like people's like time and death, right? But she can't see herself. That's like prime death flag. And in the past, there's like war happening because Wakaba just killed the envoys because I don't even blame them. Porky was being fucking rude. They deserve that shit, but unfortunately for the town that Wakaba resides in, Vampire's dad is so stressed out and Vampire's butler. He's part of the Demon Squad. Something I should have fucking recognized before, but today's episode should be pretty hype. Let's begin today's reaction. Yusha. Shun. Surely Shun's gonna save everybody because he's the hero, right? Shun, are you gonna be a main character today or what? Hide has killed your brother. I don't trust him. Yeah, cause you won't last until then because Hyden will kill you before then. Enemy forces. Red is Hugo's army, right? Yeah. <laughs> that CGI walk there was so saucy. That's a lot of L's. Dude, look at Hugo. Look at Hugo's fucking strut. Look, 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 look. Hugo. And then look at the guy. Oh, what is that movement in the back? Oh. <laughs> Tagawa. NPCs or NPCs? Oh, they're pretty strong. They're pretty strong, yeah? Hmm. Right, they're the adventurers. That's like... Yeah, you haven't done shit yet, Shun. Maybe Shun will accomplish something this war. The fuck? The elves really look down on us, huh? They're so rude. We're like slaves to them. What is this? Gr the barrier that should that can't be broken, but it's obviously gonna get broken. Don't jinx it, dude. It's gonna break. Well, not right now. Oh? Oh, lightning blade? I mean, that looks pretty strong, right? The move looked cool, at least. They took down a dragon? He's saying a lot of... He's flexing a lot, saying, I took down a dragon. We got a dragon sword in the staff. But we were only part of a bigger group. So he could have been leeching this entire time. So these two characters could be incredibly fucking weak. And we're just getting... Like, he's just gaslighting. He's like, yep. We don't know how strong they are, but okay. It'll definitely be busted. I don't know. I feel like Bay could break it. Because she's a cracked earth dragon. Dude, that pride is going to be shattered. Hmm. Bring it down from the inside. Is there traitors? Is there traitors inside? Oh. They can just port in. Traitor amongst the elves! Traitor amongst the classmates, maybe? There's a lot of new classmates that we just met. The elves wouldn't betray themselves because the elves are too racist. But the classmates, I don't really know about them. They're just random new characters that we've been shown. And honestly, with the way that the classmates have been treated on the fucking farmland, if I was in their position, I'd be like, yo, fuck them elves. You know what? I want to go with my man Hugo. I want to join my fucking human friends, man. I would totally think like that too. And Hugo can mind control too, on top of that. Dude, they keep saying, oh, the barrier's never gonna get broken over and over again. They're way too confident. They're way too confident. These elves are fucking annoying, though. Holy shit. They're even racist against their own kind because she sides the humans. She was the maid for Shun, right? I was kind of still suspicious of her, but just because she's getting bullied now? Well, maybe she's the one that's gonna betray them now that she's getting bullied. Half elf? Right, Pultimas also made a comment, right? Half elf something when he left the meeting. That honestly happens a lot, dude. Like, in real life too, right? Like, full, like, like I don't know, maybe like 
full-blooded Korean people would look down on like half-blood Koreans, right? And like for any other race, right? If there's like half-blood something, if you're racist, it's like, oh, you're not one of us, you know? I kind of want the elves to just die. Why don't you just turn to a fucking dragon so we can get on your back and fly there instead of walking? Oka-chan? What's going on, Oka-chan? Ah, uh, okay, sure, sure, sure. Oka-chan relieves the other elves, their duty. You're all gonna die in the war. <laughs> no, she can't tell them, right? She can't tell them. Two of them specifically? The maiden hidings? Okay, we're gonna tell them that we're isekai characters. Got it, got it. Secrets out. Okay. That's right, but the skills are bad though. Because it was just normal earth. Where are you going with this, Oka-chan? That's a fucking good question. I don't know, a bomb fucking happened and then admin fucking... Admin D just fucking, you know, extracted the souls and implanted it here after proposing the system, but like, why? Intentionally done too? Huh? The gods will prey on those from another world. <laughs> the gods are the admins and see them as enemies. There's multiple gods, but we do know that the main goddess that they worship, right? That was like, had Divine Beast Ariel as, you know, Divine Beast. That was Sariel, right? Sariella or some shit? Sariella was also an admin then? I'm not sure. The reason they agreed to help protect the reincarnation was to prevent those with powerful skills from being killed by the admins because if we could harness those powerful skills then we could fight against the admins? They don't want the power stolen. Elves want to prevent that from happening. Admin G is also a god then, huh? That's right. Admin G. Admin D. Well... Yeah? Yeah? Because like... Who killed Julius Nisama? Supposedly 10 squadron leader who could be Wakaba, right? Who was who sent Wakaba? Probably Ariel, right? But like they're all part of like the demon faction, but the admins are working there. So like I guess it makes sense that they want this to happen, but ultimately to do what though? To take down the elves? Because the elves are natural enemies of the admins? No, Hugo's a fucking tool. Hugo's a fucking tool. And Sophia is under the orders of probably Wakaba, right? <gasps> Negishi, spooky. Do we trust Hidens? I still don't trust him for the memes. <laughs> Remember last time? Katia, cause of death. War in the fucking elf forest or some shit, right? But she said that she could change their future, right? She Woka-chan has confirmed that even though... She knows and how they're gonna die. That could be changed if she actually acted on something, right? What if hiding sent the maid as the traitors? So guard against the teleportation circle. Mm -hmm. But what if the people protecting it are the traitors, right? Mm. Or the barrier itself could just break. Wait, 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 what did you say? Elves that have been brainwashed already, like traitors, yeah. Alright, that, sure, it's more fucked then, I guess. Yeah, I feel like we're neglecting that. Uh... The barrier crashes. Traitor teleportation. What's the real problem? How are we gonna fight Sophia, right? You can't fight her. She's stronger than Okachan. Neutralized magic. Did we see that when Sophia fought? I'm forgetting little details, but when Sophia and Hugo attacked our kingdom, was there an instance where she used that neutralization? If someone you try to use a magic, but she, she just cancels, negates magic? 
I forget exactly how that fight went down. I just remember that Okachan being super pressed, right? But okay, Sophia can like negate and nullify magic, all right? Nullify the barrier? Oh, nullify the barrier could happen? Wakaba. Oh yeah, Hasabe Yuri, that, that's the sage. We haven't seen the sage in a long time, but like, they're really neglecting Wakaba as the 10th squadron leader, huh? Oh, they are. Because like, Ariel and Wakaba, aren't they also showing up here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two of them! They keep saying the two! Wakaba is one of them. Are we missing another? Is my math not working out? I thought the two of them was Sophia and Wakaba. But Sophia now has been accounted for in this list, right? By Katya, right? Look, Hugo, Sophia, Yuri. They're all accounted for, right? There's two of them left. Wakaba is definitely one of them. But like, what is the other two? Okachan did say Wakaba is dead. So maybe there's actually three then, right? Two that Katya is saying. And one, Wakaba being dead. So technically, three hidden cards? Is that a possibility? Or plus one? Considering Wakaba dead is not counted for? Who the fuck is Kusama and Kyoya? Kusama and Kyoya? Kusama and Kyoya? Who the fuck is Kusama and Kyoya? Kyoya described MC's best friend. I thought Shun's best friend was Katya. Maybe not. Oh, there was a third friend on that bench. Katya, Shun, but there was another friend. That friend we haven't seen yet. Ooh, Kyoya, and there's another character too. Okay, so there's those two guys plus Wakaba, right? That's, Wakaba's not accounted for here, but the two they're telling is Kyoya and that other guy. Huh. Things are getting so fucking confusing. Who the fuck is Kusama? Even they don't know who Kusama is! The classmates are straight up saying, Who? Who the fuck is Kusama? Alright. Oh, we forgot about him. <laughs> so Kusama was just a fucking NPC that just didn't even know? Alright. Could you... Uh, uh, okay, okay. Kusama is admin G! No, that doesn't fuck out. That doesn't fucking work out, right? Kusama just could be a fucking NPC that could be already dead. But if it was dead, then it wouldn't be accounted for the two here. Because Wakaba is not accounted for because she's considered dead. So Kusama is alive. Kyoya, Kusama alive. One is NPC, one is... Yeah, uh, Kusama is admin K. You're right, you're right. That's right, that's right. Can't believe they did Kusama that dirty, dude. It's like, who the fuck is that? Oh, uh, what, what? I don't know. Good point, Hydens. Why are we here? Okachan brought us this. Do we have to protect the elves? Fuck them. I hate them. Honestly, I want to side with the demons. We should just get the fuck out of here. We should betray the elves, let the demons fucking teleport in, then we should get the fuck out. Fuck them, racist elves, dude. Let's get out! <laughs> hmm. I'm probably going nowhere with this, but it's like, this is one of the things where it's like too late for me to back out. So even if Hayden seems 99.9% .9 innocent, I will continue to doubt him for the fucking memes. I just can't back out now. I know you killed Julius Nisama. Don't lie to me. For the memes! Hmm, I don't trust him. But they're racist, bro, and they put us into fucking slave work on the farm. Yo, fuck Potimas, man. Fuck all the rest of the elves, too. Okay. Hydens is the real leader here. He's the actual fucking true hero, dude. Shin, what the fuck are you doing? You should be the one giving the speech. Yes, true Yusha. Where are we? Past or present? Okay, still present. Dude, the elves keep jinxing it. <laughs> the elves are so cocky! Over and over, <laughs> our barrier can't be broken. Did you know that our barrier has never been broken? Our barrier is the pride of a race, by the way. Oh yeah, did, did I tell you the barrier can't be broken? I want this barrier to be fucking broken now, dude. Fuck him, dude. Break this barrier. Oh. Huh? Kyoya? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, right, 
was last episode? Who do we see? Oh, sh I, sh I forgot. I forgot. It's been a while since we got spider. Last episode, post credit scene, there was like three characters, right? There was this dude, there was a girl, and there was someone else, right? Oh, fuck. What's up to the rest of you that I don't know their names? Kusama and Kyoya? Kusama, Kyoya is a girl or a guy? Because we saw this guy, then we saw a girl, right? And then we saw the butler, but it doesn't mean... But Kyoya could have been reincarnated as a girl, too. Or, 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 or the other fucking guy, right? Yeah, he could have been a girl, too. Yeah, how do you know who we are, though? How did he know immediately? <laughs> Ninja. Kusama was the NPC guy, right? This is not our best friend, right? Wait, wait, are you trying to actually kill him? Wait, wait, you're actually trying to kill him? Wait, 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 this is too much? But he's actually kind of doing well. Holy shit, I can't believe we're going all out on him. Old fart lied about this being an easy mission. So maybe we do have these suspicions. Oh, the old fart. I, wouldn't, I wanted to say Potimas, but that makes no fucking sense. Who is his old fart? Dustin? A member of Dustin? That could make sense. He is the only boomer that we kind of know. Huh? Teleport? Exploding sword. Yo, elves! Elves, guys, are you just watching the sword fall down on you? Look, 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 look. The sword went up. And he, the ninja literally said, hey. You, you guys should run, guys. And then the sword specifically says, exploding sword. And then the elves, what do they do? Shun tells everybody to leave. The elves. They deserve to all die, dude. Fuck these elves. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, true. He couldn't, they couldn't see the exploding sword. But like, you think you should just look at it up like that? It's gone. This is your guys' fault for shitting on Kusama. Kusama was the guy that they told them, you know? They were like, yo, who's Kusama again? Ha ha ha, we don't know. Fucking NPC. Bro is probably a fucking slave somewhere else. Immediately gets shit on by Kusama, dude. Honestly, they deserve it. Dub Kusama, yeah. <laughs> Where's Kyoya, though, huh? <laughs> Wait, what did- so... He didn't- Wait, wait, no, oh, let Kati explain! What was the point then? So that we couldn't leave! Wakaba! Wakaba! Potimas, you should be aware of what's going on, right? CGI elf army? <laughs> CGI elf army? Oh, the pride of the elves! <laughs> That was so easy! We didn't do any- Wakaba just was like- Okay, it's gone now. Like, there was no main technique, there was no fucking crazy shit happening, there was no all-frontal assault on the fucking barrier to beat it. This is what the elves are so fucking proud of. They're so fucking dumb. Oh, the sage! Sage Yuri! Besides Sophia, there's another character that I don't recognize, but maybe this could be Kyoya? Maybe? We have never seen that person before, right? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, sometimes the CGI is so jarring, like we just went from watching anime to playing fucking Sims 3. Holy! It's not a big deal, but holy! <laughs> I kind of want the elves to die, though. Skill up! Skill up! <laughs> CGI war. <laughs> Why are you so happy, bro? Why are you so happy in war right now, bro? The CGI model couldn't even fucking fix their mouth expressions. They look fucking happy. <laughs> okay. Honestly, the CGI looks funny. It's funny. It just enhances it. Kati also dies, right? Who's gonna kill Hugo? Shun? Maybe Okachan killed Hugo. <laughs> the 
<laughs> CGI cat. And honestly, Hugo, we haven't seen Hugo in a while, even though we see him now. And let me explain. Hugo has been full clad in an armor, CGI armor for like the last three episodes. Like I straight up haven't seen his actual face in a while. Like it's just CGI Hugo over and over again. <laughs> Look at that CGI horse! Oh! <laughs> no! What did they do to Sophia? No! Oh, this is so dumb! And Sophia just fucking she does this thing. Hello. Sophia, what happened, my girl? <laughs> Spooky then. She looks good here, though. She looks good there, though, for a second. Hugo can just resist it? How did Hugo get so strong? Did Sophia just give him all the demon powers? Like, what? Did the Adnans give him some fucking demon powers? The gear! <laughs> so basically, so Hugo is basically carried by his gear, according to Okachan. Yeah. But look who this arrow hits! Oh, poor guy. Oh, shit, yo! Yeah, yeah. how did you get this strong? What kind of power? Who gave you those powers? Are you not gonna explain yourself? You said you wanna know. I'm asking. Skill up! Skill up! <laughs> the most sane church core, by the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so he does have lust, we know that. Oh, what the fuck? He's got two sins! Oh, hello, CGI, Sophia. Oh, you can fucking eat away at the skills. Their skills, their stats, their skill points, just a little bit, though. Wakaba eating away at the soul kind of stole mom's stats, but we didn't steal mom's skill points, though, right? That's different, right? Right? Wakaba eating is different from Hugo's greed, but Hugo does have two sins now. And who gave him the sins? The fucking admins? The Sophia? What the fuck? Bro just basically stealing and getting real carried by his gear. Oh, Okachan, no! It's looking GG for Okachan, man. Oh, she's getting gangbanged by her students. Dude, the scariest thing is how she says this in like a chill voice with her eyes like that. She is so fucking crazy, dude. Yuri, oh my god. Oh! Yuri dead? <laughs> you guess you're gonna go to heaven? Okacha just killed Yuri? Okacha just killed Yuri? Oh, oh. But like Sophia's still in the back, you know, not doing anything. Okay, so no oxygen here. Suffocate to death, but remember, Sophia's still around, man. Huh? 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 What was that? Was that Sophia? Okay, it was Sophia. <laughs> Where the fuck is the rest of our team? No. No. I don't believe it. Oh my god, this. Fei, 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 Shut. What? What the fuck? What the fuck was that animation? Wait, 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 wait. We see Fei in the eyes. Okay, okay. You can see Shun there. Right at the end there, Shun was dropping. You can see a glimmer of that, the light there. <laughs> that was kind of confusing, but he's here, he's here. The hero's here. Oh, look at that armor. Post-credit scene. All right, all the elves are taken out. Not Hugo, same armor. Kill ya! Kill ya! Kill ya! Kill ya! 
gotta be Kyoya. There's, there's, that's the episode, but there's no way this could be anyone else other than Kyoya because, like, they were talking about missing students. We already see Kan, Kai, Kaza, Ka, the ninja guy, and Kyoya on the demon side. And remember, a third that they haven't accounted for because they assume Wakaba is dead, the 10th squadron leader who took down the fucking barrier. And that is the episode. Goddamn, the war is starting. Today's episode was a little bit more set up than the actual war, right? I mean, we did set a lot of stuff up, but like then the last like, you know, five minutes or so was the actual war. Damn, I really thought Okachan was gonna die there. Okachan has blown a lot of fucking death flags, and I straight up thought this could be the moment where Okachan dies after killing her students and her having like regrets, like, was I a good student? Honestly, could have been a pretty good end to her character, but the hero shows up late. No matter how fucking terrible and jarring the animation is, no matter how I didn't even realize, like, how the fuck did this happen, right? Look at this. Shun is in this fucking sky. One frame later, boom, down there. How the fuck did that happen? Who knows? He's a fucking hero. And we're back. And we're gonna probably lose. I just... With Sophia still around, Kyoya's around, fucking Wakaba's there too. I just don't see, a, like, a, a future where the elves win. You know what I mean? There's no shot the fucking elves, and if anything, we'll probably have to run away again. Maybe we take out Hugo, because Hugo's supposed to die in this war, but again again right the fates can be changed it's okachan's like i'm roster is not the end and i guess next episode is going to be the actual fight hopefully they don't fuck us but kyoya man what is kyoya dude he seems to have horns so i'm just going to assume that he is another like a, a demon probably maybe he's a squad leader who knows maybe i saw him in the fucking round table i don't know but that's it from me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care